Hey guys, it's Kayla. Welcome to my Draw My Life, and I am not good at drawing, but let's go! So on a very important date, June 26, 2003, a beautiful baby named me was born to a magical family with my dad, my mom, and my brother. And later on, I went to a place called Preschool, and I met some friends there, but I forget all of their names. But yeah, so... I was quite popular. I actually remember at time people were fighting over me. Yay! And so one day this girl was showing um, me and my friends a bracelet of hers and I thought it was pretty and she let me hold it. And then this girl came up to me and we kind of played tug of war with the bracelets and it kind of, well, broke and beads went everywhere. And we Let's get forward to grade 3 where I met this girl named Samantha. She was new to our school and I randomly asked if she wanted to be best friends. The exact words and she said sure and we're still good friends. Okay, so let's skip ahead to like grade 4. And in grade 4 I had swimming lessons and I had this friend named like Tyrion or something like that. Not Tyrion. I don't really know her name. And I randomly went to my mom and said I want to be an actor because I always wanted to be one. And I found out that girl was an actor. And then the, her mom gave me these papers and we signed them and then I went to a meeting with the agent and then she like picked me or like, that's what you want to call it after I read this sides for her or lines and she picked me and then yay I got on her about a week later it came to my first audition and I was auditioning with this little boy that I thought was really crazy and I thought I was doing really good I thought I was gonna nail it and but you know I did not get it, and then I cried, but you know, I was only like nine, so yeah. In grade six was a really good year for me because I had my favorite teacher still to this day, and I was really short. I was the shortest in the class, but the year was really exciting for me because it was the first year I had a class pet, and it was a fish, and everyone suggested names, and I suggested Bruce because it was my favorite character from a movie I watched. It was like a fish movie, and the shark's name was Bruce. And, um, oh yeah, I'm thinking of the names right down here. <laughs> and, um, but Bruce sadly did not get chosen, and Fernando did, and at the end I was okay with it. In the seating arrangement, I sat right next to the fish, and I was staring at it all day. That's all I would pay attention to, and I would, like, miss what the teacher was saying. It was Later that year, I got an acting role on a show called The Expanse, and I had like a little bandana thing wrapped around my head, and all I said was daddy daddy, but I was really happy with it. But that's when I started feeling it got really bad. I saw a couple of doctors, and first was my family doctor, so the go-to doctor, and she sent me to this doctor that was a guy, and then he sent me to the doctor I have now, which diagnosed me, and I see her like every few months. After a blood test, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease. The best way I can describe Crohn's disease is your immune system is attacking yourself. After I was diagnosed, I had to go through a couple MRIs and they are big x-ray machines that you go inside of for about 30 minutes and you have to stay still. They give you these headphones because the machine is really loud and you just lie there sometimes to let you watch a movie. Later that year, I was on YouTube and I found this channel called Seven Golden Girls. Well, I was on a collab channel before, but that does not need to be known of. And I auditioned after the due date and I filmed on my iPad mini. Wow. And I surprisingly got on, but it was called Seven Emerald Girls, a sister channel, and then to Seven Diamond Girls. And then I got on Seven Golden Girls. Yay, where I met these amazing people like Gwyneth, Grace, and then Sarah, and then Cadence, and Riley, and Rena, and I'm still friends with them. I forgot to mention that happened in grade 7, but later on I had a squad called G7GS Grade 7 Girl Squad with Sam, Anna, Jenna, me, and a girl named Jamie, and it was cool. Near the middle-ish end-ish of the year, I started getting injections by my mom, and which caused me to go on remission, which is good, yay! So in October of this year, I was on a FaceTime call with Gwyneth from the Seven Golden Girls thingy and she was telling me how Truth Plus Dare was holding auditions 
and immediately I said I would call her back and I made a last minute audition for Truth Plus Dare and the auditions were due that night. And um, she was telling me how she just didn't get to submit her audition yet, she submitted it too late and she didn't get on. But thankfully, on October 31st, on Halloween, I got an email from Bertaley, or yeah, Bertaley, let's call it that, telling me that I got a spot on TAF. So that is the end of my version of Draw My Life. Make sure to always be strong and celebrate life. Bye!